Welcome to Virtual Kids Week. Amazon Future Engineer invites your child to become a coding DJ and create the song of the summer by remixing music using computer science. Using EarSketch, they can remix tracks from award-winning artists such as Sierra and Common by coding in Python or JavaScript. We are challenging you and your child to submit songs in any of our three Song of the Summer categories, Chill Vibes, Workout Beats, and Big Hits. The three songs with the most plays in each category win a $50 Amazon gift card. We'll be hosting this contest on SoundCloud and we'll show you how to tag and upload your song. Your first step in becoming a coding DJ is to go to the EarSketch site and create an account. Type in earsketch.jawtech.edu. You will reach the EarSketch homepage and click Get Started. You have now entered the EarSketch platform and it's time to create an account. Click Create Reset an Account, then scroll down to register an account. Enter a username, password, and email and then you'll be automatically logged in and ready to start creating and coding music. After you log in, your next step in starting Virtual Kids Week Challenge is to create a new script. Click on the blue line, click here to create a new script. Then choose a script name, any script name that you would like, but we recommend that you put in the letters VKW so you can identify that you are participating in the Virtual Kids Week Challenge. My script name is going to be EarSketch VKW. You can choose whatever language you would like to code in. You have the choice between Python and JavaScript. If you are new to coding, we recommend that you start with Python. Click Create and you are ready to get started coding. In addition to choosing your coding language, you also have a choice to code in block or text. For our Virtual Kids Week Challenge, we are going to code in block. You should go to the right side of your screen and right next to the green run, there is a gray gear button. Click on that gear button and go scroll all the way down to you see toggle blocks mode. Simply click on that and you should see a blocks menu pop up. If you are more advanced at coding or want to try your hand at text, simply go to the gray gear button, click it again, click toggle blocks mode, and you are back in text. Now, as I said, we're coding in blocks, so I'm going to move back to blocks, but the cool thing about your sketch is you can always go back and forth. Let's take a look at your script in the code editor. You will see first that there are four white blocks with the pound sign in front of them. The pound sign and their color means that the computer does not read this code. These are comments and descriptors for your code. Here you can type in your script name, the author or yourself, the coder of the script, and a short description. Use comments to explain your code and help others follow your code. Right below the blue line, we actually start our code that the computer will read. The first block in purple is the init block. This signals the start of your code. Right below init, you will see set tempo, which allows you to choose a tempo or speed of the music, which can be anywhere from 45 to 220 beats per minute. Set tempo will be an important function in deciding the category of the song of the summer. It is set at 120 or a marching beat. However, if you are choosing the Chill Vibes category, you might want to slow your tempo down to 90 or 100. You simply do that by typing in between the parentheses. Well, if you are going for a workout beat, your song may want to have a higher tempo, such as 140 or 150. You can change the tempo throughout your whole song as you are coding your beats. The first step to composing a song is adding sound clips to our script. When you code, you just can't put a sound in your editor and expect the computer to play it. You need a specific function that's going to tell the computer it's time to play a sound. This function in EarSketch is called Fit Media. You will scroll over to your blocks menu and pull the Fit Media block, F-I-T, capital M, E-D-I-A, over and place it into your code just below set tempo. But 
Just like you can't place a sound in there by itself, Fit Media doesn't do anything until you fill in the details or arguments in parentheses. Our first argument is the file name or your sound clip. Then you have a track number which tells the computer where you want your music played. And then we have our start and end location which determines how long the clip will play. Now, where do I find these sound clips or file names? You're going to go to your left hand menu. There are a series of folders. The top folder has headphones on it. You're going to click on that top folder and your sound browser will open. EarSketch has over 4,000 audio clips to use in your music, including clips from Sierra and Comet. You can search audio clips by artist, genre, or instrument. The Sierra and Common audio clips are listed at the top or on pages one or two of the sound browser. You can listen to each audio clip by clicking on its name and then simply clicking on the green play triangle. When you decide if you like a specific sound clip, you then click on the blue clipboard and it automatically pastes it into your Fit Media function. We have inserted our sound clip. Our next step is to finish off our arguments. The track number will determine where our music will play in our song. As this is our first Fit Media function, we're going to play it on track one. Our start location and end location will determine the starting or end points of our music. These are listed in measures, and measures are how we determine time in music. Each measure at a 120 set tempo is approximately two seconds or four beats. If I have this clip play from measure one through measure five, it will play four full measures or eight seconds. Now we close our parentheses to complete the function. Let's test this out. We're going to click the green run button to execute the code and our clip should be added to the digital audio workstation just above the code editor. The digital audio workstation helps you visualize your code as a musical timeline. Now you can hit the play button to listen to your clip. Congratulations, you've added your first clip in your song. You may continue to use Fit Media to add more clips. You can return to the sound browser, listen to some more sounds, decide which ones fit your song, and then add them to your code. You can add more stems from Common or Sierra, or search for different audio files and beats that complement your stems. Remember, as you add more audio clips, you'll need to add them to different tracks. I've added a few more Fit Media and beats to my song. Let's run it and check out how it sounds. This was just a quick start. If you want to add effects or other functions, continue to explore our resources and learn how to continue coding in EarSketch. EarSketch will let you upload your own sounds, compose your own beats, loop your music, and add awesome effects such as fades, reverbs, and delays. If you go to our Virtual Kids Week website, bit.ly slash es dash vkw, you will get more resources and videos on how to compose a song. In addition, in EarSketch, you can click on the book icon, which is a curriculum, and you will have access to learn about all the resources and information on how to code an awesome song in EarSketch. Once you are done with your song and ready to submit, do a final review to debug your code. Check to make sure it runs and there are no errors in the console. Now we will show you how to share your song on SoundCloud, get your plays, and win some prizes. Go to the folders on the left-hand side of your EarSketch platform. This time you're going to scroll down to the second folder with the brackets. This is your scripts folder. Find your EarSketch VKW script that you have just coded. Click on the three blue lines next to that script. Scroll down to where it says share. You should have a pop-up window which will ask you how you want to share your EarSketch song. You're gonna scroll across, click share on SoundCloud. 
For your song name, we are asking that you also enter your category. So after you complete your song, decide where does my song fit in one of the three categories and you'll type this in your song name. In this case, I'm going to click Big Hits. And I just type that at the end of my song name. This will allow us to categorize your song for the correct leaderboard for the competition. Then you simply click Upload and your SoundCloud screen should pop up. If you do not have a SoundCloud account, you can simply log in with a Gmail or Facebook account or create one at this moment. If you already have a SoundCloud account, you simply click Connect and Continue. At this point, your song is uploaded on SoundCloud, it is attached with EarSketch, and you can start sharing it with your friends and family to get the most amount of plays. We look forward to listening to your song on SoundCloud. Make sure to check the leaderboard linked on our webpage to see your standing. Good luck, happy coding the song of the summer, and feel free to send questions to escomp at jawtech.edu.